What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerf here. And consider this round three versus Chief Bromden. I think this would be my third video um, against him uh, since my return to Scrolls. And I don't think he has get to beat me, so this could be his first. And Decay against Energy. Um, I usually have the advantage, but this isn't really structure energy. This is more automatons. That was weird. I thought I couldn't mulligan there. But it ended up letting me get rid of a piercing projectile. Next turn, wind up. That good. I have a turn two play. And can make an attack for th three energy for two attack the following turn because I have currently no three drop. <sighs> I have a thunder surge. Um, infested husk, okay. I will get rid of the piercing, could be good on the wind up, but I'll go to the battle dance actually. Play the wind up down low. Okay, hopefully. Oh, that only has two health, and I forgot it was uh, nerfed towards the end there. It's not three health anymore, which I, I deservedly so. It was pretty, it was kind of OP. So, but now it's much weaker against Decay. Hopefully it doesn't soul steal it. Uh, good, I have a turn three play now. Pierce Mortal could be good in that, but I like my curve otherwise. Three, four, five, six. Um, I will go with the. I could move up, but then I'll go with the scout thing is I can move up and then use this to attack that but then I'm just like if he soul steals then I'm just screwed I guess I'm screwed anyways if he soul steals ideally if he's gonna soul steal not this turn because I do have a uh, Akumas on which would benefit then pack husk okay interesting start for him he's just getting playing those value creatures double thunder surge it's not bad not bad at all. Gonna get rid of it though. Could could pay the energy there, kill that. But this shot should be in front. <laughs> Maybe a misplay there. But otherwise, um just gonna play the echo it's on. It's not at three attack yet, so if it's if it dies this turn to like a brain lace, then that's not good. <sighs> Lucy hasn't played anything really super threatening yet. Two, three attack. I mean three, uh, three count, three, three count on uh, units. Too bad I didn't draw burn yet. Burn would have been um pretty good. Well, this actually poisons me. Poison is very good counter to automatons just gets right past their ranged and stuff like that so I'm not feeling overly confident about this matchup uh, but we'll see how it goes at least I haven't had a dead turn yet damning curse and he's gonna kill that okay so that hurts yeah hurts indeed Um, Forge. I like Forge. I do like the Automata Forge. I think I'm actually going to go for it over the Blast Auto. Just because I can pump it up. Against the K. You can't damage curse a Forge. I could Thunder Surge next turn. This is gonna be a tough, tough one to win, I think. Yeah, I think I'm getting a little, little whopped here. Uh, Thunder Surge is pretty good. Now I wish I had the, you know, Xcog. Xcog is nice. Thunder Surge though. 
you know, he's gonna eventually put down a witch doctor and then I'll need to do some crazy stuff. I'm spelling situation with a C. Can't type. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I'll get rid of a thunder surge. Potion of resistance actually could be good. Put that in the middle, actually. And here we are. Very weird game. I don't think it's going to go too well for me. He's still going for scrolls, though. Which kind of makes me happy, because I can't let him really ramp up, or else I'll see bigger threats. He is playing around Thunder Surge, so I'm not too mad that I replaced it. Replaced, I'm talking about Duelist. I mean, uh... You know. Okay, let's go for cards. Another forge. I think I'm gonna go for the... Is it really worth having all these... All these things? Okay, I'll go for a forge and a pump. So forge and a pump on this. And he yeah, might be able to destroy my auto out of forge this coming turn, which down there, which is kind of annoying. Well, all we're drawing is forges, so I guess they're just being played. I need to have removal though, I need to find my burns. Where are my burns? He goes to five. Yeah, I need burns. I already got rid of both Thunder Surges, so. Okay, we want to burn that. Okay, he decides to deal 3 damage to that. Which is not too bad for me, because I can just, um... I can just protect it now, because there's nothing for him to deal damage directly to it. Okay, there's a burn. Do I play burn now or not yet? That's a good question. There's not a huge reason to right now, but then again, Ekomaton isn't isn't going to be great. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, I can burn here and poison his row. Yeah, I'll do that. I think I want to slowly get rid of his units, so I think that's a good idea. So let's burn, and it's wall. So now hopefully I can top deck another burn before that thing explodes. And... Play canister down. Maybe lure him into hitting this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to play this game. Okay. And I have a mastery in hand. Probably gonna go for scrolls with that next turn. Okay, there's a brain lice, which means it's gonna die after this little hit. And it looks like he's gonna destroy my top forge up there. So maybe I should potion of resistance it. Potion is usually not good against decay, but that's because when you put it on creatures, it could be damage cursed or soul steal stolen. But structure with potion with potion of resistance against decay is there's nothing there's no they can't do anything about it. Um because they have a the little slithering form they can get what's behind it, but yeah, uh, tough choice, tough choice. I can go to seven, pump, pump, potion of resistance. Maybe I do that. Yeah, 
Y'all go ahead and do that. Or do I wait till that like dies before I have more units? Nah, I'll just I'll just do it. Go to seven. Potion of resistance. Pump. And pump. Units. We have units. Oh, he had unbind. That's not really a misplay. I mean, that's not. The definition of a misplay is like something that I like really. I couldn't predict what he had in hand, but that definitely hurts. Helped him get rid of that. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, good card to counter the potion of, potion of resistance. Now next turn, I'm pretty much screwed because I lost my uh, thing there and my forge up top. That's not good. Um, Echobaton, gun auto, get rid of the gun auto. We have a lot of automatons now. I guess I'll keep pumping. I mean, I don't know what else would be better to do. Ah, that's double poison now. That was unlucky. Now it's going to die before it gets an attack off. Next turn, I can go up to eight. I can double pump and play canister. I like just ramping up and pumping my forge. I think that's a good idea. And brain lice on that, that's slowly gonna die. And unbind. Okay, so if I knew we played unbind, I wouldn't have done that before. Burn. Good top deck. So I'll burn this and get rid of the gun auto for. Um. Let's get the Echo Maton down. We need more things that can potentially be threats. And I'll protect this more because I don't want him getting a surprise kill of that forge. I need that to survive. And I, would, I'll, I know not to put an enchantment on it. <sighs> Harvester. Cursemonger. Okay, those are some bigger drops that I might have difficulty clearing. Power trip. Could just power trip. I'll go to 11. And then I can play. I can pump for 3. And then I'll have 8 left and do wind up canister. I think I already sacrificed a couple of machinated, so. I'll go for cards here, see what I get. Double power trip. So double power trip is going to bring me up to 14. I need 5 to destroy that with a potency burst. And then... Five to destroy that. So then I have nine left, and I can play a cannon and pump. 
Sure, I'll do it. Not a huge reason not to. Okay, so I'll pump. I will cannon and then I'll potency burst. Okay. Now, I would love to get an X cog because then these gun automatons would be that much stronger. Definitely have to hold on to the potency burst. I'm not sure if I have bound dispersals in this deck. I don't think so. I think potency burst is it. So don't really have a way to get rid of the other harvesters and witch doctors he's gonna play soon. Like that witch doctor. At least I have one more potency burst. I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm gonna use it when I can get a bigger play going. Okay, we his he might not have any more unbinds. So maybe I should keep this. No, I'm not going to. Let's go for cards. Battle Dance. Ooh, Stone Enigma. Hopefully he plays a Halls of Alm Lassa. I don't think he will though, because it's a little pretty late in the game now, but wow, if he played a Stone Enigma, I mean played a Halls of Alm Lassa, that would be great for us. So I still want to double pump. I think pumping is like the best thing I can do. They can keep ramping up, and it's not like Blast Auto is going to be a huge play or anything. And what I will do is I will move up with my uh, creatures that are set to attack. This is like fodder, so I'll keep it there. Um, and I'll just play the canister. Okay. Hmm. Kind of wish my uh, can was in front of my gun. Play a Halls of Almasa. Play Halls of Almasa. Okay, so I guess we're gonna get a uh, brain lice on that. Maybe two brain lices. Blight bear. Damn curse on the. No, just double blight bear. Which is actually really scary. Because <laughs> that is gonna hurt a lot. Well, what can you do? Um, there's my third potency burst. Uh, looks like I will potency burst this turn. That's gonna be six to get rid of the witch doctor. And then I'll go up to. Okay, I'll go up. I will get rid of the blast auto. Yeah, it's too much poison. Blast auto won't even do that much. Okay, so I will play the forge and potency burst, I guess. And how do I want to do this? What do I want to get poisoned? I can get away with only this cannon getting poisoned which doesn't seem terrible considering I have a battle dance next turn um yeah it doesn't seem too bad I'll go ahead and do it like that Forge, top left, and potency burst. Okay, so he still has another light bearer though. That that cannon's dead in a couple turns. If I do battle the next turn, I could get an attack off. We'll see though if that's the route I want to choose. Maybe it's stupid for me to hold on to that stone enigma. This is going to be a long game, I think. Because <laughs> I'm not close to winning, he's not close to winning. Both have a lot of resources and cards. 
Like I said, I don't have a lot. Like I said, I don't have a lot of cards, but the resources, yes. So next turn, I could literally just triple pump on the two forges, get another two gun autos, and that would be that. Is he not going to play any spells? Languid and a curse monger. Not feeling too good about this, even though it looks like I'm a little bit ahead. Really need Xcog and right on cue. <sighs> I think I do Battle Dance this turn, though. Battle Dance seems like the right play. Good potency burst yet again but is that the route I want to go with probably not <clears throat> I think battle dance just because then I'll be able to strike both of these not that though and then if I battle dance and go to 10 then I'll have 6 left and I can double pump so maybe I'll do that Yeah, I'm gonna battle dance and go to 10. I don't see what else I'd want to rather do. I need to save the potency burst. Okay, so. Battle dance. Fortunately, does not work on structures. And I will. Destroy that, that. Wish my cannon was a little bit higher. And then I will double pump here. Oh, ran out of time to do some weird maneuvering. I guess that's fine. Not really sure how I want to maneuver. Okay, and we are in full forge mode yet again. Xcog though. Problem is Xcog is very slow. It comes, it spawns in with another countdown every time. It doesn't have a three countdown; it's a four countdown. That was it's, that was the nerfed Xcog. You should, used to have three countdown. Automatons were nerfed a little bit uh, towards the end there because they're really strong. Definitely a deck that I abused. Is he gonna damage curse his own thing? No. Really not playing any spells. Oh, I didn't realize that. Ha that's a thing. Um, oof. Now what? What do I sacrifice? Ugh. Burn's valuable. Unfortunately, that rot eater just got buffed though, so I can't burn it. Maybe I just burn the oblivion seeker while I can. Yeah, I think I do that. Let's burn the oblivion seeker while it doesn't have a witch doctor or rot eater next to it. Scout auto. Ooh, that looks awfully attractive. All these guys would go up one attack, but I can't get rid of anything else in my hand right now. That's the thing. I think I'm going to have to get rid of it for cards. Solemn Giant. I can just go Havoc with that. Copper auto, too weak. I could XCOG Copper auto this turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Xcog. Rather than pumping twice. Xcog. And... Actually, no, there's no point in playing Caparata. Because I'm already, like, challenging him with my units. That anywhere I play, you can just run away from it. Rather have the card in hand to be able to sacrifice. I could just get soul stolen. I have a lots of structures. Not sure if I have two power trips or three power trips in the deck. 
if there's another one, I'd like to draw it. Might not have another one though. So potency burst might have to be reserved for this rod eater. He's at seven cards now, which is a lot. My advantage is I can make creatures without spending cards because I have my forges. Tribesman. I have to watch out for him building his board up too much. That would be the Necrogun could clear out a lot of stuff. Battle Dance would be interesting here. Because then I could play Cobra Auto with it. Probably wouldn't be the best Battle Dance though. Curse Monger. Not playing another Witch Doctor. Okay. Wind up auto, I will keep. Yes, I will keep that. I can deal one damage with it. Scout. Okay, so scout means I go to three attack on everything. Unfortunately, I can get to four attack which would be more perfect so I don't think I'm gonna play scout this turn um, I think uh, the best thing to do would be potency burst potency burst is gonna cost five so that way I can just then I can just play Potency burst is five, and then I can just pump once. I don't like pumping only once. I guess I'm gonna pump once. Pump once. Potency burst. Okay, not the best, but Still ahead. He just has a couple curse mongers. Probably can just get rid of the other Xcog. I know it's tough to get rid of a forge against decay, but seeing as it's unique, I don't want to blow my other one up by accident. <laughs> and I don't think he's gonna destroy that other Xcog for a long time. Oh. Okay, that's gonna die to the poison. Tribesman and Witch Doctor. Nope, no witch doctor. Brain lice. Okay, so he's really trying to get rid of these, but I can pump them out fast. Speed pumping. Speed pumping, guys. Um, I could ramp up more. Let's see, that's gonna be six, and then I can. Yeah, I'm gonna ramp up. I see no reason I have to go for cards here. Ramp up time. So let's pay. 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 And I don't even need to play the wind up right now. Just going to continue to put out my units. He could Necrogun this turn and get rid of the X-Cock, because he just has to curse it in Necrogun. So he could do that. Um, that would take up a big turn for him, though, so I wouldn't mind him doing that. I mean, he did get rid of my other X-Cog, which is unfortunate, though. Yep, those forges. Next turn, I can go up to... Right, that was going to die to poison anyways. Fine. Next turn, I might actually just play the scout auto because the great thing about the forge, the X cog in the back, it means it survives. But um, also means that it pumps out a uh, scout auto towards the end of the attack uh, order, which means that these will attack before it comes out. So I have to put down the X cog first if I wanted to get to a big attack. 
Okay. So, not bad here. I can get rid of this curse monger by playing a scout. And scout's gonna bring me... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for more resources here. I'll get rid of the Echo Maton. Because I think I'm gonna focus more on like trying to win. Okay, so I'll destroy that. Deal two there. Play the scout. I could attack with this for three, but I'd rather just pump. And I'll put out more which kind I think right now we want more automatons not more uh, not more scouts scouts are great but I want to make sure that I don't die to a necker again like lose my board to a necker again and we're only destroying a couple of his units this turn and now, that, now that all my things have four attack I should be good to go my Solemn Giant will have 10 attack now, so it can one-shot any idol. wonder what Chief Bronwyn thinks. If he's going to be able to come back from this. Because I don't really know how I'm going to lose this, because I just keep pumping. Keep pumping, keep pumping. Like, worst case scenario, I guess right now he does a Watcher get in, Or not even Watcher get in, maybe a 2-drop, like a Infected Husk Necro get in which would clear out quite a bit actually so that would hurt that would hurt actually a lot so hopefully he doesn't do that then again for all I know his deck doesn't carry Necrogun because it seems a little controlly with the unbinds set it up so we can't actually destroy this forge with a Necrogun because the scout would take two hits it would absorb two hits At best, a Necrogudden would clear out most of these the automatons. At best. So. Necro? Yep, he's going to go for the Necro. Okay. So, goodbye. Units. He's going to get rid of... Yeah, it only takes out two units. So, yeah. Um, get rid of. Let's see. So, I could pump three things. Wind up. What does wind up do? Wind up's gonna come in. It's, wind up can deal two damage. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna wrap up more. I'm not like overly worried about this. Because the more I pump, the more I can do here. Uh, I'm actually going to deal damage there, just the way things are set up. Actually, I just have to do it like this. It's a little annoying, actually. I shouldn't have done that. And then I'll... Just double pump, I guess. Yeah. I actually kind of regret doing that this turn. This way. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Oops. Not my, not my best turn. <laughs> because now I can go for another Necro. And clear out more stuff. Including the bottom forge. But I'm pretty far ahead that I should still be okay. If I ramp up even more next turn, because I want to be at these like, uh, I want to be at these uh, multiples of three. So I'd have to get to 15 resources left next to be able to pump five times. Okay, so no Necker again this turn. Interesting, he hasn't had a Harvester in a while. That actually would hurt me quite a bit. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice for resources and go for a solemn giant play. So first I will pump. Oh, I actually didn't need to do that. I could just pay for this to attack it. Never mind, I don't need to do it for Psalm Giant to destroy that. <laughs> I could just do it like this. And then I'll just pump. And pump. Yeah, he didn't have that much early pressure because of those three counts on husks all the time. These forges, though. MVPs. Really long match here. Sorry for the marathon video. If you're still watching, you're a true trooper. To scroll, a true scrolling scrolger. Brain lice. Just gonna get rid of that. Witch Doctor. Okay. Don't want to like be greedy and try to just win this quickly because bad things happen when you do that. I'm going to get rid of the cannon. Pump. Um, that's going to spawn last actually, so I will do this first. Hit that. Then I'll do a pump, pump, and a pump. Okay. Interesting. We're at 15 resources. Oh no. I messed up there. I lost a I lost a scout. That was bad. <laughs> because this spawned over it. Brain lice, infect the husk. Low dark. Man, that's annoying. I lost um I could have had a uh, one of these guys. Let's get rid of the blast auto. Could start sniping. Nah, I can't start sniping. Gotta keep pumping. Okay. And then I guess I could double pump here. Because I don't want to like be too greedy so now how do I open these up so I need to give space over here there we go And now we get more automatons. Want to find battle dances, that would be good. I want to use the Psalm Giant as a finisher, not really a card to just play. Blight Bear, Pack Husk. Okay, so he's protecting his idols now. Another Pack Husk. Okay. So what do I have that's attacking? Nothing. Potency Burst, that's a good draw. Uh, let's get rid of a Potion of Resistance for cards now. 
finally go for more cards. So I can't do burn potency burst, unfortunately. Because potency burst uses all your energy. In that case, well, if I make this attack, I'll have four attack. So I can do this, actually. I'm going to keep this curse monger alive. I'm going to destroy the blight bear so it doesn't poison everything. Screw it. I have too much of a board right now. I'm going to I'm going to have to um do some things. So I will burn this just because and then I'll just potency burst because too much too many units too many and he's running out of cards I mean actually he's not really running out of cards it's tough to break through all these units because I ran out of my thunder surges we're gonna cycle soon it's a long video Who wants to sit through this one? Who wants to sit through this really long match? Okay. Let's try to speed this up then. Okay, there we go. There's a scout auto. Okay, um. I can get to four attack that way. That's a destroyed idol. That's a destroyed idol. Okay, I think I have lethal. Yeah, it's gonna be lethal. Move here, move here. Nope, messed up. I don't. <laughs> I I screwed that up. I had lethal, but then I lost lethal. Scout auto would have done it, I think. Yeah, I think I just missed lethal. Well, but in that case, time to just destroy more of his units. Um, I mean, I will play the scout auto. Let's just play the scout auto. I'll make you attack just because. And... Pump it once. I don't want to spawn on anything else because I want places to play things. Mess that up. I did have lethal. <laughs> Still dragging out the game, right? Well, next turn, if he opens one of his idols up, I should be able to win. I may have already missed lethal. Okay, he has to protect a bunch of idols now. Ugh. <sighs> Too many units. If only the scroll board was like twice as deep, I'd even have even more of an advantage right now. In the early stages of scrolls, the board is much bigger. If you didn't know. Okay, that's gonna be game. No, it's not. I don't have anything attacking down there. Uh crap. We need more things that can attack. Power trip. Potency burst, that's going to be game. Finally. <laughs> Sorry for the extremely long video. Um, hope it was somewhat entertaining. <laughs> but the game was decided a while ago, but it just kept on dragging on. But uh, that'll be it for today, so like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Chief Bromden's got nothing on me, I keep eating him.